Social. We are your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. So, we're starting something new for the movie Social where each month we highlight one black male and one black female actor and actress where we are going to recognize what they've done for their career, for the, their top movies in our minds. Shows as well. Yeah, TV shows and movies. And basically give our t opinion and our take on it. So I don't think uh, the, the black stars get enough shine and enough light. So we're going to do our best to try to put them in the ground, bright light. So to kick things off, we're going to be starting off with, for the male actor, we're going to be starting off with Denzel Washington. And for the female, we're going to do Regina King. All right, so, so before I start, don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, um, turn your post notifications on. And uh, join the family. And always let us know what you guys think about in the comments below. Believe the racist crap at home. We don't care for it. Uh, so, boom. Denzel. Uh, my, well, one of my, one of my favorite Denzel movies is, is Training Day. Um, you see Denzel in a different light in this movie. You see him basically being sneaky. And I am backstabbing cop, a dirty cop. And a lot from, from his previous roles, you know, you didn't really expect that from him. This is why, what you call him, uh, said when he said in the song, he said why Denzel had to be critical before he took it, before he got an Oscar. Where he clearly, That's the only because he clearly now. had great movies before um, Training Day that he deserved Oscars and nominations for and so forth. But this movie stood out to me because again, you see Denzel definitely like, like that show. Well, I, I'm not gonna say it showed that he can do different roles. It just showed you his creativity and his dedication to his craft. I mean, when he did the Dirty Cop, I literally see like that's how some Dirty Cops are. Like when I see like think of a Dirty Cop, I really think of some somebody like Denzel. Um, you get a lot of them like that. Yeah, and, 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 like that. And, and the thing is, it, it was it was so believable, and, and it stuck out to me at such a young age. I'm like, yo, if I see a dirty cop in the hood, I'm thinking that he's gonna act like Denzel did in Training Day. Um, some of the some of some of the most iconic scenes and lines. I mean, to this day. If you walk into somebody and say Pelican Bay and got shit on me, they're gonna know exactly what you're talking about. Well, and if they don't, if they don't, they, they got a problem. Exactly. Like they're gonna know exactly what you're talking about. And Jimmy Crack scene. Corn and I don't care. Yeah, like they it, it's just the movie has so many iconic scenes, quotes, lines that it's it's just one of the memorable movies for everybody, honestly. It, it was such a good movie. Um, co starred by Ethan Hawke. But Denzel to me was just he was he was just so good in this movie. I don't think there could have been anyone else to play the role but Denzel. Correct. Because I agree. of the way he brought the character to life. So damn gritty. Like the character he, was so gritty. Yeah. And wild at yes. the same time. And in, in the way he played it made it seem like he, it was normal. It was nothing wrong. I mean in this society, crooked cops are treated like it's normal Yo, but so, we're not gonna get into that because yeah. so, so one thing that like lets you know how iconic this movie is the movie came out in what 2001 yes. 2001 there is okay. memes and gifts from this movie in 2020 from a movie that came out 19 years ago like if someone like you cannot say you go on twitter or facebook instagram right when someone says something that you agree and you don't see the my nigga gift from this movie or me in 2020. Like you, it's just something that people use because such a such an iconic part and scene of the movie. It is literally two words and like in a reaction. Like that's how you know. That's how you know movies last that long. If something from 2001 has holds like weight in the culture in 2020. I mean, it, to me, it was one of Denzel's biggest roles. Not his biggest, but one of his biggest roles. 
Yes, he should have gotten an Oscar before this. Yes, agreed. Academy, you are always going to be tarnished for that. Again, they don't never give black people their due, but he has done a phenomenal job in his career. Yes. This movie will go down as one of those. Now, I wouldn't want to really shadow the bad side of it, of him playing a crooked cop, but just his acting of playing a role, period, was very phenomenal. Now, to, for me, the first movie I would, I'm picking, we're going to go back to Remember the Titans. A, good, a great role that he should have gotten the Oscar for. He played a hell of a coach. Listen, when you can take, granted, yes, this was still in the movie, but I mean, it was based off of other things. His character itself, he brought the coach to life. He did. This is what a coach should inspire to be. I mean, granted, yes, we got some real coaches in life that, to me, are reminiscent of Coach Boom. But, yes, the role by Denzel was played very well in this movie. From the hard-nosed coach of you telling people, nah, you got to do this, do that, working hard, constantly, even having the white assistant coaches under him, giving him the respect that he deserved during that time frame. Yes. Now, yes, it was still a movie, but the role that he played and the way he carried that role, it was believable. It made it seem real. Impactful, very impactful. It actually... To this day, you'll still have people talking about Remember the Titans. Now, yes, you had other actors in this movie that helped shape the movie to what it was to be, but take Denzel out and you put somebody else in that role, it, it, I don't think it did fit. Put Samuel Jackson in that role, Morgan Freeman in that role. It's not going to fit. Now, they were, they're great as well, but they wouldn't fit in this role. I mean, to me, agree. We have to have him in it. And to look at this, this came out the year before training day, and he didn't win an Oscar for this. Shit. I mean, what can you not like about Remember the Titans? It really was. It was really good. I mean, especially given right now everything going on in 2020 when we are lacking sports. That's one of the moves. If I'm really dying for some sports, only, I'm going to watch that. Not only sports, it, it brought up, a, like, you know, just in today's issues. one year, yeah, racial issues. I mean, they brought, brought the team together, you know, because there were some players who didn't like the black players and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Who, who thought everyone they were came people. together. And they came together for one time goal. Because of the coach. And then them throwing bricks into his walk window at his home, threat, making threats and all that. Mm -hmm. it made, he made everything seem more believable and more realistic. And I, honestly, the premise of that movie needs to be echoed today because things are just like it was back then. Mm -hmm. And it's nothing changed with the year, if you ask me. But that was a phenomenal job by Denzel. Next week we'll be picking two more movies from Denzel's uh, great catalog of movies or roles. On to Regina King. So, um, I'm going to do Regina King. Well, so what I'm going to pick for Junior King is a show um, that people know and love. Some people don't. It's very controversial to some people. It's the Bulldogs. She played Riley and Huey in one of the best cartoons that I've ever seen in my life. Um, the dialogue that she had and the fluctuations of her voice and the acting for... It the both of those, great, it, it was I great. Knew. Like, and people never knew that it was. First of all, they never knew that it was a female. They never knew that it was one person playing. Then they never knew it was Regina King. Like when people found out that it was Regina King, they was like, "Hey, yo, what, what? Both of them?" And the the show is so iconic in black culture, like so iconic, because like it's one of those dear black people. Like, it, it shows us, hey, listen, this is how we act, how we act in some situations. This is how we need to act. Like, it, 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 it was like a dare black people. And it was really relatable. It was very relatable. Very relatable. There's, 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 um, a lot of things, and it's supposed to be coming back. Well, it's talks, but we don't know now, says, uh, John Witherspoon. R.I.P., man. Oh, granddad. 
And the thing is, like, I can only imagine how it would be. Like, if they do come back, they have definitely to have to do something. Exactly. They have to do something. I don't want something. somebody replacing this character. Exactly. They need a new character. So if they do a cousin, uncle, somebody. But they, they can't have granddad. They got to have somebody else. Um, I wouldn't mind them having, like, an uncle. Like, it's probably like granddad had, like, a long uh, brother or something. Helping coming in or something. Or aunt. Something. But I definitely don't want them to, like, try to replicate granddad. I wouldn't be cool with that. Yeah. Um, but all in all, the role that she portrayed in that movie, uh, as, I'm sorry, in the show as Riley and Huey, you have um, Huey, who is a black activist, essentially. He's a young black activist trying to do better in the world. He's just seen the world in a different light. Whereas, and then you have Riley, who is just your wild six, seven year old. Foul mouth, uh, do whatever he want, and she played both of those roles. How you would basically see in today's society, like any young kid that, that that's loud, rowdy. I think of a Riley. Like I, I, I've have I actually had a Riley in my family. I mean, he grew up to, to you know mellow out, but I had a Riley in my family. <laughs> this is it's insane, and then like. The dialogue that she did between like literally the two characters, like to me, I don't know, I don't know how that is done. I don't know if they say, okay, Virginia, I want you to read these lines as Huey, right? We we'll just read those lines in your Huey voice. Then we're gonna take a break, come back, and you read the lines in, in, in the Riley voice. I don't know if that's the done, or if it's literally her having dialogue by herself. Well, like if if it was done that way, that's absolutely amazing. I don't know how you can fluctuate your voice to sound like one person another person like why you're responding so like she garnered my respect because again I, at first i did not know it was regina king playing both roles and she's done some really great work and then she literally her and john witherspoon are the reasons why the show took off of course now for me i'm going to be doing one of the movies one of her more recent movies seven seconds another controversial movie that she's been she's been in a lot of things that have related more so back to controversial issues of society with the black and white issues race problems uh immigrant issues she's been in a lot but seven seconds really was one of those roles where to me in the beginning i hated her for the role because yeah she played the mother for the, one of the kids for the kid that was hit by the police and was killed. Like her issue towards the father in the beginning was kind of wild and crazy. But then she started to become more likable as a character. And she played her roles so well that you really either hate her or love her, which is something that you really want in an actor or actress. You want them to make the roles believable and come to life. And I mean, it draws in raw emotion from her, if you ask me. But of course, with the whole movie premise of, again, everything that happens and that has been happening in life, cop gets off and gets away with murder. And you see her character progress from the beginning of the child being missing to finding out he was dead, who, who did it, and then going through the court trial and case and everything. To me, I really thought at the end they was going to convict the cop, but Netflix kept it true to what's been going on at that time in society. Of course, now we're still back and forth with it today, but really appreciated the role that she played in that movie. Now, next week, when we go into more for Regina King and Denzel Washington, we're going to bring up another round of movies or TV shows and then at the end of all of this at the end of July we're going to highlight our top five either movies or TV shows for each person and basically give our take and opinion of why we take those so if you guys have watched either Training Day Remember the Titans, Boondocks or 7 Seconds let us know what you guys thought about them comments below if you've watched anything of Denzel or Regina's let us know what you guys thought about it and until next time
Thanks for watching.